Hello, welcome back to our Physiology MCQ series. Today, we will be dealing with Respiratory System MCQs Part 2. Let's move to our question number 26. In human beings, ribcage and sternum move upwardly and outward during. Option A. Excise. Option B. Sudden back injury. Option C. Expiration. Option D. Inspiration. And the answer is... Option D. Inspiration. Now let's move to question number 27. Air flows from a region of high pressure to region of low pressure. To explain the process of inhalation exhalation, you need this fact dash. Option A. Boyle slow. Option B. Dalton slow. Option C. Henry slow. Option D. Charles slow. And the answer is... Option A. Boyle slow. Now let's move to question number 28. ARDS or Adult Respiratory Distress Syndrome occurs in Option E. Adult Option B. Male Option C. Female Option D. Newborn And the answer is Option D. Newborn Now let's move to question number 29. When respiration shows alternate waxing and warning of tidal volume, it's called Option A. Cusamel breathing. Option B. Chine stroke breathing. Option C. Voluntary hyperventilation. Option D. Acidotic breathing. And the answer is Option B. Chine stroke breathing. Now let's move to question number 30. Functional residual capacity can be determined using Option A. Routine spirometry. Option B. Computerized spirometry. Option C. Helium dilution method. Option D. None of this. And the answer is Option C. Helium dilution method. Now let's move to question number 31. Anatomical dead space is determined using Option A. Whole body plasmography. Option B. Spirometry. Option C. Single breath nitrogen curve. Option D. Single breath carbon monoxide method. And the answer is Option C. Single breath nitrogen curve. Now let's move to question number 32. Which anatomical structure does the conducting zone of the lower respiratory tract contain? Option A. Assurance tube, larynx and trachea. Option B. Primary, secondary and tertiary bronchi and bronchioles. Option C. Nares, conchia, olfactory mucosa and sinus. Option D. Neuropharynx and larynx. And the answer is... Option B. Primary, secondary, tertiary bronchi and bronchioles. Now move to our 33rd question. How is diaphragm innervated? Option A. By the parasympathetic division arising from the sacral region. Option B. By spinal nerve arising from the T5 to T10. Option C. By the phrenic nerves arising from C5 to C7. Option C. By phrenic nerve arising from C5 to C7. Option D. By phrenic nerves arising from C3 to C5. And the answer is... Option D. By the phrenic nerve arising from C3 to C5. Now move to our 34th question. Aphasia occurs due to Option A. Raise in the level of CO2 Option B. Fall in the level of CO2 Option C. Raise in O2 level Option D. Fall in O2 level And the answer is Option A. Raise in the level of CO2 Now move to our 35th question BCG vaccine is used to curb Option A. Pneumonia. Option B. Tuberculosis. Option C. Emphysema. Option D. Smallpox. And the answer is... Option B. Tuberculosis. Now move to our 36th question. When the oxygen supply to the tissue is inadequate, the condition is... Option A. Hypoxia. Option B. Aphasia. Option C. Pleuricity. Option D. Anoxia. And the answer is... Option A. Hypoxia Now let's move to question number 37. Reduction in the respiratory surface of the lungs due to the breakdown of partition in the alveoli is known as Option A. Aphasia Option B. Bronchitis Option C. Asthma Option D. Emphysema And the answer is 
ऑप्शन डी एम्फीजीमा नाउ लेट्स मोर टू क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी एट इन्फ्लमेशन ऑफ द लेंग कवरिंग कॉज सीवियर चेस्ट पेन इज ऑप्शन ए एम्फीजीमा ऑप्शन बी प्लूरिजिटी ऑप्शन डी फेजिया ऑप्शन डी हाइपोक्सिया एंड द आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी प्लूरिसिटी मूविंग टू क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी नाइन आसमा इज कॉस्ट ड्यू टू ऑप्शन ए इन्फेक्शन ऑफ द ट्रेकिया ऑप्शन बी इन्फेक्शन ऑफ द लेंग्स ऑप्शन सी ब्लीडिंग इन टू द प्लूर कैविटी ऑप्शन डी स्पैजम इन द ब्रॉन्किल मसिल एंड द आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी स्पैजम इन द ब्रॉन्किल मसिल नाउ लेट्स मोर टू क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी द लार्ज वॉल्यूम ऑफ गैस दैट कैन बी मोड इन टू एंड आउट ऑफ द लेंग्स इन वन मिनट बाई वॉलेंट्री एफर्ट इज कॉल्ड ऑप्शन ए रेस्पिरेटरी माइन्यूट वॉल्यूम ऑप्शन बी माइन्यूट वेंटिलेशन ऑप्शन सी मैक्सिमल वॉलेंट्री वेंटिलेशन ऑप्शन डी वाइटल कैपेसिटी एंड द आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी मैक्सिमल वॉलेंट्री वेंटिलेशन मूविंग टू क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी वन फिजियोलॉजिक डेथ स्पेस इज डिक्रीज इन और बाय ऑप्शन ए द अपराइट पोजिशन कंपेर्ड टू द सुपाइन पोजिशन ऑप्शन बी पॉजिटिव प्रेशर वेंटिलेशन ऑप्शन सी नेक फ्लेक्शन ऑप्शन डी एम फिजीमा एंड द आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी नेक फ्लेक्शन नाउ लेट्स मोर टू क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी टू इंट्रा प्लोरल प्रेशर इज पॉजिटिव ड्यूरिंग ऑप्शन ए डीप इंस्पिरेशन ऑप्शन बी टाइटल एक्सपीरेशन ऑप्शन सी फोर्स्ट एक्सपीरेशन ऑप्शन डी टाइटल इंस्पिरेशन एंड द आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी फोर्स्ट एक्सपीरेशन नाउ लेट्स मोर टू क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी थ्री लेंग कॉम्बलियंस इज इंक्रीज इन ऑप्शन ए पल्मोनरी एम्फीजीमा ऑप्शन बी पल्मोनरी फाइब्रोसिस ऑप्शन सी सरफैक्ट एंड डेफिशियंसी ऑप्शन डी अक्यूट पल्मोनरी एडिमा and the answer is option a pulmonary emphysema now let's move to question number 44 which molecular ion dissolved in the blood is able to stimulate the central chemoreceptors of the brain's respiratory center option a co2 option b c3o plus s carbonate option c co2 oxygen option d calcium co c plus and the answer is Option A, CO2. That's carbon dioxide. Now let's move to question number forty-five. What is the function of the ciliated cells in the lungs? Option A, they form a respiratory membrane. Option B, to move mucus out of the bronchial tree. Option C, to secrete surfactant onto the lining of the alveoli. Option D, to phagocytosis in hill bacteria. And the answer is. option b to move mucus out of the bronchial tree moving to question number 46 with regards to lung ventilation what does the dead space refers to option a air in the conducting zone of the bronchial tree option b air remaining in the alveoli after an exhalation at maximal effort option c air between the partial and visceral pleura option d the difference between the volume of maximum inhalation and the tidal volume and the answer is option a air in the conducting zone of the bronchial tree now let's move to question number 47 breathing in individuals with resistive lung disease is typically option a slow and deep option b slow and shallow option c rapid and deep option d rapid and shallow and the answer is option d rapid and shallow now let's move to question number 48 alveolar surfactant option a reduces the surface tension of the alveoli option b helps prevent alveolar collapse option c reduces the movement of fluid from pulmonary capillaries into the interstitia option d all of the above and the answer is option d all of the above Moving to question number forty-nine, J receptors are located in option A, pulmonary endothelium; option B, alveoli; option C, bronchial mucosa; option D, roof of the fourth ventricle. And the answer is 
option a pulmonary interstenium now let's move to question number 50 stimulation of the j receptors result in option a apnea option d trachypnea option c hyperpnea option d apnea followed by hyperpnea and the answer is option d apnea followed by hyperpnea so that's all for today if you need further clarification please comment in the comment box i'll be back with the continuation of this video soon so do subscribe to this channel for watching that video and if you like this video please like this video too